I was 11. Four. So would have been 12. I was five. It was like right before my 13th birthday. We went into chaos. All grown up now, feel so free. Loving life with my kids, my wee family. Like, see when I was 16, because I was 16 when I said I wanted to leave Kale. They took me to the homeless unit for young people between 16 and 25. And see, in my eyes, it was all right. But see, when you live in it, it's a totally different experience. Big magical cuddles from my wee boy, eyes sparkling full of mischievous joy. When you're in your house, like on your own, not staying on your own, but on your own, you at least know that come, like somebody's coming home at some point. But when you're on your own, living on your own, like there isn't really anybody coming home or will be home later on, if you know what I mean. Because the mines wasn't a bad experience. Like leaving was a struggle. And I, I had supports and stuff. The mines wasn't a bad experience. Cute gummy smiles from my baby girl. Looks of butter wouldn't melt, it would sizzle. I don't know, I kind of regret it now, leaving. Because you take everything for granted. You would come in at 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock and you'd have your meal there. And you don't really think of anything like electric or gas or money for food. Emotional baggage still holds on tight, but I found someone to help as I found Mr Wright. My head was all over the place because I'd... I wasn't in care anymore, you know. Um, I was in my own house, but I didn't feel like my own house because um, I didn't know anything that was going on with it. Since leaving care, I tend to move house every two years at least because I feel unsettled and trapped if I stay in the same place. I just got my flat in February of this year. I waited five years in and out of homeless. I stand tall and proud now, social work no more, with smiles aplenty and giggles galore. I did kind of know how to cook and stuff and do your own washing, so I'd already started that when I was probably about 12 and I was living in foster care. Looking back, it kind of like kind of healthy exercises because it gets you ready for real life. My pals didn't know. I didn't know I was in care. You know, the fast, like, like once. Where you, like, where did you grow up? And it was all I grew up in Kale. But that was it. There was always someone there. And then when you leave Kale, there's no one, you know? If you move into your own place, you're, it's your own place, you're by yourself. It's great to have two tiny faces so full of glee. It took me time to get to where I want to be. In my experience, it was a positive. Um, I mean, I got a lot out of being in Kale. Some of the stuff I've done. Like I did um, stuff with Robert Gons University of Teaching to um, social, work uh, social work students about my care background. I'm still doing it now. My house with time is now our home. Finally, after 30 moves somewhere, to call my own. <laughs>